So this week I thought I would try something a little different. Um, in this envelope in front of me I have a soldering kit from AliExpress and so um, this is a little bit more uh, involved than the usual kits I would do. Uh, usually I'd do smaller kits if I was doing a kit or I'd just be repairing something. Um, but this has uh, 81 LEDs and a couple of controls which allows us to create an interesting patterns on the on the display that we create. So I thought this would be an interesting project to do for a video. Um, it's going to take me quite some time I imagine due to the number of components. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in my own time and um, I will speed up the video as we go through and probably put some uh, cheesy YouTube background music uh, for you to listen to if you choose to do so. Otherwise uh, obviously you could watch it muted and listen to your own thing. Okay so let's get going. So what do we have in here? Well, we have a PCB with some nice silk screening, so that's kind of neat. A user instruction sheet uh, that I can't read, but it should provide me enough details to put everything in place. We'll refer to that if we need to. And um, a lot of components here. So uh, oh, the kit is USB uh, powered, so we'll test it out uh, at the end. And then we have a bunch of components, some switches, some LEDs, and so forth. So I think I'll sort those out um, in silence um, and speed that through for you. So I've put all the LEDs in a bag and um, let's just check to see if we have pretty much what we need from this component list. And we seem to have a spare transistor. Unless I've miscounted twice. We should have 18 but we appear to have 19 so that's all fine as well. Okay, so let's get started. So I have two types of solder here. I have this, um, they're both claimed to be 6040 lead solder. This one is much, much lighter than this one. So I think this one probably is lead, but this one isn't. Uh, they both have approximately the same uh, ability to solder. So. I'm happy with either. Um, so the iron's been on while I was testing components there. So this is all looking good. Okay. okay. So I misjudged the length of that resistor, but I just adjusted it. And that's much better. So I'm just going to hold it in place with blue tack. So next I'm going to do the nine 220k resistors.
So I'm trying to put all of the tolerance bands towards the bottom of the board. It's going to be in this orientation, so towards the bottom on these resistors um, or to the right for any uh, horizontal ones. So these resistors are quite uh, tightly packed on the board, so I'm just bending them quite tightly with the tweezers. So these 10K resistors have brown on both ends of them. Um, it's brown, black, black, red, and a brown tolerance band, which is why I put them around this way to match the direction I've just described. So I'm just using blue tack to keep the resistors in place and making sure they're snug to the board here. So this is just a cheap soldering iron I got from Amazon. You can see it's set to 310 degrees. Well, hopefully you can see. I have no idea how accurate that actually is. I'm very skeptical but I don't have any way to test it here. Nonetheless, I think it gives very reasonable joints. Um, especially in combination with this solder, although the other solder is fine as well. So this here is the 104 capacitor. There is no way that's going to focus, but it goes in this slot here. We'll just, again, tack it in place, more or less upright. Two two four capacitors, which come in these slots here. So next, I think I'm going to do the transistors, of which there should be eighteen. So I should have one left over. I'm going to have to bend the legs on these because these are not formed. So what I'm doing here is I'm just cleaning the tip and get rid of the crusty solder and then I'm applying some new solder just to improve the thermal transfer and in this case I'm going to solder the middle leg uh, on each transistor and then can make sure they are all reasonably straight Side of the transistor body, with the shape on the board.
Now I'm going to do the sockets. I could have done those before and probably should have done. Probably do the LEDs next, but I'm gonna do um, the capacitors because they're also gonna sit about the same height on the board. Okay, so this one isn't sticking. these tool components till last. Uh, we can do the power jack now. So with these, the longer leg is positive. It also um, is attached to the smaller piece inside the LED if it's visible. The anvil is typically negative. So that's the larger piece inside the LED. So um, this side has a flat edge. The, the negative side has a flat edge, the cathode, and it's marked on the PCB, including using the diode symbol. So hopefully I will get these all around the right way. But if not, we'll pop one out, well, we'll pop them out and uh, redo them. So to align them, I'm just using the blue tack, making sure they're hard against the blue tack, but also against the board.
So I've cut these quite hard, um, so it wouldn't be going to space, as many people would say. Um, but that's just intentional, so they're fairly flat and smooth. Um, the problem with doing so is that you might cause strain on the joint and maybe lift the pad, um, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully they're all round the right way and they will light up. Let's do these switches next. So there is some kind of marking here. I wonder if that uh, is intentional or just an artifact. I'm gonna match it to this line on the switch. But I don't suppose it makes any difference whatsoever. So I've turned off the iron. I have my chips with reasonably straight legs. Let's uh, just rock them on the table to uh, bend the legs in slightly. So they'll go in the socket a bit better. we go. So let's just undo the USB lead. I have a handy USB socket just off the screen to the left. Should we plug in? And nothing so far. Okay, that looks promising. Not really sure what these buttons do. There we go, it seems that like I got all the LEDs in the right way around. Unfortunately, my power supply here seems to be dropping off. And it's really too low a current. So I wonder what these knobs do. They seem to adjust the speed. Oh, there we go, right? Psychedelic. Okay, so hopefully that was therapeutic for you or interesting. And as you can see, we have a working little project. So that's quite nice.